Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at an asset in the asset store called Demon Blade Lord. Now, the overall quality of this, I feel, is quite nice. I mean, especially when you consider that it is a free asset. And one thing that strikes me more than anything is it looks like something you would see in a Final Fantasy style game. So whether you're turn-based, you know, RPG, whatever, it just looks kind of nice. So in the actual scene itself, we can see that, yes is actually quite nice and you could logically think about this i mean look at it it seems a bit bland however remember that whatever you do in unity you could always use some, always use something like post-processing to make it really really cool so overall the quality i'd, I'd say is pretty decent it's got some animations in there it, uh, it looks pretty good it's very versatile you can change uh, different things in the materials should you wish you know you don't have to keep it as it is you could play around with whatever and choose any of these many many shaders to play around with uh let's put the standard you can see just how much it changes but again it's up to you if you want to change it uh, so that's how versatile it can be much like any asset that you have uh quantity wise it has a fair bit in here uh, so we have the demo scene, which is what I'm in now, uh, the materials, mesh, prefab, textures. It does have animations, and they are all inside the mesh. So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine animations, which is more than enough, I would say, for, at least for your standard style game. So if I were to press play and have a quick little look, we can see, there we go, there's the first animation. So I'm going to pull the camera out. So we can see it a little bit better in all its glory. Uh, so yeah, you've got a, a multitude of animations that you can use here. You can see all of these nice and easy. So obviously the relaxed one would be like an idle uh, situation. So the pre-made scene is quite literally just this. There's nothing extra to it. There's nothing massively special. Uh, I'm just going to apply uh, some post-processing to the camera. And we can have a little look at what it would look like in the game view. So let's pull the camera this way. Let's turn it around and let's have a look at what it would look like with some nice post-processing. Easy. So the usefulness of this is, well, let's face it, it is quite useful. It's something you would expect to see in some kind of um, RPG. And to be honest, it's probably something I'm going to use in my series that I teach on this channel. Uh, there's not too much in the way of extras. We've got the standard stuff, you know, animations, whatever else. Highly customizable. Uh, package size itself is a little over a meg. So that is a fantastic size for such a cool asset. Uh, there's so much you can do with it. And the fact it's free, I think that's just an added bonus so as you know guys i don't like to rate assets i like to either recommend them or not and i would recommend this asset if you are creating some kind of rpg or maybe some kind of rogue like title or you know something like that at least something fantasy based obviously you wouldn't expect to see this if you're making a grand theft auto style game or you know i'd say it's very rpg focused so if you're making an rpg Yes, I would absolutely recommend this because the animations are quite nice. There are quite a few of them and it is useful. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, don't forget, click subscribe and click on the bell icon to see more game development stuff. Um, give a thumbs up if you do like this asset. Let me know in the comments if you've used it, your thoughts on it. And if you've got anything in the asset store that you want me to take a look at, whether it's free or paid, please just let me know. guys. Thank you very much for watching.